Hey, this is Dom, and I want you to subscribe if you like the following content. Hey, what is up, guys? You got Dom back again, bringing another Pokemon shit on live in the RU tier. And today we're gonna be using a team builder, not around mini or mini or just on it, but I, I've never used it before, and I was just looking at it, and it was performing pretty well in uh, battles I played against it. And obviously, Bibro is fun to use. Um, I had another team in OU that I used, but it's definitely, definitely way better. And RU is a fantastic ball breaker. Um, it's also on a ring team, so we've got a. Let's look on the team builder, and I can just show you. Um, so we've got a especially defensive polytoad um i might change these evs around just because i'm having a little bit more difficulty with like lucario and such um i don't even know what the standard polytoad set is i was just kind of pl pl playing around with it it takes hits from both sides fairly well though um just again like i said not really good physical wall breakers um mini is just going to be the standard wider uh adamant uh yeah standard wider adamant um it still hits uh, base 105 if it were dropped, like, as if it were base 105, so 339 is really good speed tier after it's gone, even if I don't get the shell smash up. Um, but acrobatics hits really hard once that white herb hit activates. Uh, Bibrio is Normalium Z with the Yawn, Switch Dance, Waterfall Return set. Um, we've got Jolteon with the Life Orb, Thunderbolt, Switch Hit Empire Grass for Swampert, and Shadow Ball. Ludicolo is a Life Orb Modest set with Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Rain Dance. And uh, Tornadus is going to be Specs with Hurricane, Sled Wave, Heat Wave, and U Turn. So uh, I've had moderate success on the team. It's more fun than viable, I guess, but I'm having a lot of fun using it. Um, we're up in the higher 1300s right now, I believe. I think I ended on 1379 or something when I was testing last night. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Celebi is definitely looking like our biggest problem here. Um, but the bright side is Minior actually just clean sweeps this man once Metagross has, uh, I think as long as shields down. Or if shields down isn't up, then Earthquake does like 78% to Metagross, I think, if it's max HP. Um, and everything else just drops, so... I think what we can actually do is lead off with Jolteon, because he has no real response to that. Um, I'm, Jolteon's threatened by Crawdon late game, uh, after the Life Orb has accumulated a little bit, so I have to be careful with that, but I have literally no reason not to just go for a Volt Switch here, as Celebi's most likely coming out as it does. And we can go hard into our Tornadus here. And just click U-Turn. Um, I'm expecting probably Metagross to want to come in here, so I could also Heat Wave and just get some good damage off now. I think that is what I'm going to do. Because Metagross does not want to take a Specs Heat Wave, and that just, again, opens up Minior's ability to sweep even more. So he goes Crobat, which still doesn't take that very well, so I'm just going to go for another one. I'm probably going into Entei here. I don't know if he knows I'm Specs. Yep. Still, chip damage is great as we miss... Um, I think that opens up a great opportunity to just bring out Politoed. He goes into Crawdont. Okay. Um, probably gonna go for the knockoff here. I think I'm just gonna go for a Scald. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure about the mechanics of the. I never get burned to Scald anymore. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure of the mechanics of that. Whether the rain's gonna last for. X amount of time anymore, but uh, I think it's pretty safe to just go ahead and bring out Ludicolo and attempt to go for a sweep. Um, especially now that Politoed is gone, I just want to take advantage of it. I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam, expecting Celebi on the switch because he has no reason really to get rid of this, and this helps him uh, late game against Minior. I really don't think he should be sacking this right now. If he does, then, you know, it is what it is. Crowback comes out, that's just, it's fine. That's gonna drop. Probably Metagross or Como are gonna be coming out here. Nope, Celebi. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go for another uh, Ice Beam. That's totally fine. I'll go for a Hydro Pump now. And the rain is still up. Perfect. Beautiful. So, Minior is looking good. He's going to get his rock slip, which is uh, a minor nuisance. not really that big a deal. I'll go for a Giga Drain. Should knock him out and get a little bit of health back. Probably uh, Celebi is going to be coming out again now. And he might just Ice Beam. I mean, recover the Ice Beam damage off. Hmm. So he actually goes to Entei. I'm actually going to click Ice Beam again just because I'm expecting it. Yeah, there. there it is. 
beautiful. So I'm still gonna click Ice Beam here because, uh, yeah, that knocks us out, unfortunately. But I can just bring out Jolteon and prevent him from being able to heal the uh, damage off. And we can just go for a Wolf Switch. Beautiful. Knock out Crawdon, so now Minior is even better. Even better. And I think what we'll do is bring out... Hmm. I think Minior sets up the easiest on probably Entei. Maybe Como if it's not like the all-out pummeling. I think I'll go Torn here. And I think no matter what comes out, I'll probably just click Hurricane. I really want that damage off on Entei if I can get it. Yeah. I'll probably go for the edge. So Hurricane, please hit. He goes for the extreme speed, so he's definitely banded. Goodbye. Good lord, Tornado. Jeez, I did not think that would kill even with a crit. Wild. Oh, he scarfed. I did not see that coming. Wow. Um... We'll go Bibril and then go for the Yawn, that way the Miniar can get a guaranteed setup, and that should just be the game. So we'll go for the Z Yawn, Z goes for a Dragon Dance. And let's see, he probably outspeeds here, but I'm just going to go for a return here. That's definitely not going to be out. We go Miniar, hit him up with a Shell Smash. And acrobatics 100% will knock both of these things out. Question is, is he faster than me? Yeah, he's definitely faster than me. Will Leaf Storm knock me out? That's the question. And it will, so that's gonna be the game. Man, I really thought I had that there. Second. That's the only thing I don't like about the Zeon Bibro because the only way you can even get the SD is if people switch out and everyone knows about it now, so it's not really uh it's not really that good. He probably has psychic, so he's not even gonna have to risk the blue storm missing. Shoot man. Yeah, that's gonna be GG. Unfortunate. Maybe I should make Mini or uh, Jolly. But let's see, if we were Jolly, that would have been. Yeah, I would have easily outsped him. Easily. Just so that. Then again, I don't ever see that being a thing that happens again. Like, Scar Celebi is not a thing. So, him being Scar Celebi and me playing around it more uh, passively, I guess, is kind of. It kind of hurt me there. I've seen this team, and I hate this team, and I'm pretty sure I've lost to this team before, so I'm not looking forward to this. Um, definitely leading me and Shao. I'm going to lead off with Torn. And he, he's fake out, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, he's scarfed. Alright. Um... Go for Z on. Z goes out in the Entei, and I'll go for an SD here. Hopefully, we don't get burned by Sacred Fire. And we do. Great. I'm going to go for a return just because I'm expecting probably Slowbro or. Uh... Yep, there's Slowbro. Doesn't do quite enough. I'll just go for another return and try and keep this thing low. So he's just gonna slack off. I'm gonna SD here one more time just to get a little bit more damage if he's just gonna keep clicking slack off. And in comes the return. If we can get a crit, that'll be really, really good. Give me a crit, please. Of course not. And I'll just go for Hidden Empire Grass here just because it'll still hit him hard. He'll probably go into Shenotic though. He goes into Gudra. 
Wow, he predicted that really well. Um, I guess I have to bring out Polytoad now. Go for it and maybe a Toxic. Who's perfect? Beautiful. We'll go into Ludicolo here. Take that Moonblast, go for an Ice Beam. Doesn't do that much. And... Here. Giga Drain will certainly not kill. Shinotic's gonna be gone though. I'm pretty sure we outspeed me and Shao still. And damage on Goop is still not bad. He goes for Sludge Wave. Um, still gotta go for another ice cream. If I had rocks, Donfin, well no. Donfin's still gonna be the biggest problem for me. We gotta go guilty on here. for a thunder and I'll go for a shadow ball and if he goes into Donphan I have to go hard into a uh, polytoad in case he gets rocks up there it is and I'll go for a rest Actually, is there even a point in going for a rest? I gotta click Ice Beam here. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we can bring out Minio and go for a Shell Smash, and we may be able to pick up a W. Slowbro is still definitely a problem. And the rain is up. Uh, basically, we have to go for a Crit Stone Edge. That did nothing. Maybe Minior is not as good as I let it out to be. Oh well. And that's gonna be GG. So we've lost twice, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up at least one W. I swear the team's not as, like... I think it's just the fact that Minior before it has shields down doesn't have the power that it needs and it doesn't have the bulk that it needs either. And Bibril's kind of just it sucks. The Sacred Fire Burn hurt me a lot there too. In fact, if I hadn't gotten burned, I probably would have easily 2 hit KO that thing. This his whole team, in fact. I could have tried to flinch the Dawn Fan with a waterfall. But that's just how it goes. Alright, and we got one. I think I will lead off with. Flacon's actually a bigger problem than it normally would be here. Um, I'm gonna SD here. He's gonna get a piss spike and go for a play rough, and I'm going to go for a waterfall. I'm trying to break through his team as fast as I can. He got the freaking drop, man. Oh, that's a little bit of a lot. So he's pretty much forced to just get up. A, if he didn't get up a spike, I don't know. What if he's banned at 42.5? I don't know. Vibro's pretty frail. Arcanine's going to come out. And I'm going to go for a Z on. He's not offensive, but he does have E speed. Alright, that's fine. I'm actually gonna go ahead and. No, I think I'm just gonna go right for a earthquake here. Maybe Stone Edge is better. Because I'm pretty sure he's gonna forget about Wisp. Alright. So Acrobatics should kill this now. If I can break this sturdy on Golem, then Earthquake will be able to knock that out as well. Bye.
so volley is a problem too. Yep, so volley goes there. Again. Um, right side though, he can't thunder wave me, so I'm just gonna go for acrobatics again. Damage. And we have our shields down now, and I'm pretty sure E Speed won't be able to knock us out if he's defensive. So volley's gone. Flygon's gonna come out and we should be faster. Yeah, 100. Holy crap, look at that speed. We go for the acrobatics. Goodbye, Flygon. Maybe he's galvanized because I don't realize I don't know why he would have kept that in the back like that for so long. I'm gonna hope I don't miss a stone edge. As we hit, and that thing is gone as well. Goodbye. And now comes Golem, and we'll just go with Earthquake. And he is Galvanized, so that is GG. There we go, that's a mini or sleep, that's what I was looking for. Let's see, what kind of time are at 16? I'll grab another one, I'll grab another one. I'm thinking Bibriel is definitely the weakest link. Wait, 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 before we grab this battle, let's change Bibriel to something fun, else fun. And are you... I think Conk is really nice here. Dojo is also pretty cool. I need a wall breaker, like a good physical wall breaker. Let's see. What are we working with? Metagross should be really nice here. I can also get a Brox with that. Let's go with Stealth Brock. Uh, Stelium Z. Meteor Mash. Toxic for Slowbro and Earthquake, I guess. Maybe Bullet Punch as well. Yeah, that should be good. Make it a little bit more speed death. All right, let's grab one more. I just toyed around with the EVs, they're not for any specific reason. I'm just gonna see where this leads to. Um, or Bombi, that's cool, that's really cool. I see no reason not to just lead off with Jolteon. Jolteon doesn't really do that much. Um, this game, he has a dragon, a ground type. I mean, I guess Shadow Ball's good for that, but Roserade as well. If he leads off with Donphan, I'm just gonna stay in an HP grass though. Perfect. Because this, again, helps me sweep with Minior. I need this thing sturdy broken. I also need a bit more damage on the blade. Like, I think Earthquake is going to do, like, 60-ish percent. Because it's pretty bulky. So he goes right for the Earthquake. And I'm actually fine with that. Totally fine. Because Politoed is faster, and I can just come out here, and I can just click Ice Beam. And I'll pretty much be forced to either knock it up rocks or let this thing go down. If he brings in Roserade, yeah. Out comes Roserade, and I can just go right into Metagross. So he goes for the Drain, and that is Life Orb. Wow. That thing is strong. I always forget how strong that thing is. I'll just go for Earthquake here. I think it should be fine. I'll get my rocks up, actually. So he goes for Sleep Powder. Great. Do I double in the Tornadus or do I stay in? Alright, there's the Blade. Um, I'm gonna go back into Politoed and just fire off some Scalds, I think. Actually, Ludicolo. And I'm not positive, but I don't think he lives a Hydro Pump. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm definitely using the Mirror B remix for this one. Are you weakness policy? Because if you are, you're about to grow me back. Nope, perfect. Ghost for cleaning skills gets the defense drop, and we can go right into our boy Tornadus here. Let him put in a little bit of work. Hit him up with that hurricane. 
Show me your switchings, my dude. Show me your switchings. Um, I don't know whether keeping Metagross is a good idea or not. I think I could just play offensively and pick up the win. He actually goes for Stone Edge. I'm gonna just click uh, Earthquake just in case he's locked in. Getting up my rocks would have been really nice, but uh, I don't know why I never expect Sleep Powder. I guess because it was Life Orb, I didn't think it would be the uh, Sleep Powder set. Normally it's HP Fire or Ice, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, or Leaf Storm, and then like, Spike. I guess Sleep Powder, Rest after Natural Cure, and we wake up beautiful. Um, what is our play? I think I'm gonna like let him play off of missing that. HP Fire is gonna knock us out though, unfortunately. Fine though, we can bring out Tornadus and we can pull a U turn, and this will even, or regardless, I think we can just U turn into uh, Politoed. Especially if he chooses to go out into his Inte. Beautiful, that's a threat gone. And we can bring out. I think Minior might be better here. Just because if he goes into Rebombi, I want to be able to check that threat before it gets out of hand if he's a Quiver Dance or something. There's the Entei, and we can go into Politoed from here. So he goes for the Stone Edge, and that's fine that he crit me. I'm not really worried about it. He has to hit the next Stone Edge to knock me out, and even if he doesn't, then I can still go into... um. Actually, I do care about that. Because if he... He's not dying this to the Hurricane... It's a little bit of a 2 KO though. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. This could be another one of those games where I think I have it in the bag and then that is not what happens. Set him up with a hurricane. Maybe we can get a crit again or I confuse him. Stone Edge will most definitely knock us out though. That is without a doubt. What is Minior's speed before it's um Oh yeah, we yeah, we we should be good. We should be good. Holy crap. I thought the crib mattered. Tornadus is a monster. I mean, it is a Specs Hurricane, but still, Entei's pretty bulky. Then Rebombi's gonna come out. And I'm pretty sure it shouldn't have anything to be, that it can do against this. Goodbye. Oh, he sashed. Alright. Alright. I see you. I see you, big dog. It's gonna come down to Minior. Minior. And we will click Acrobatics, and that should be the game, unless he has some moves that I didn't know it got. Gosh, that did a lot. GG. Alright, so two wins, two losses. Not bad, not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lab. I really, I, I have a lot of fun with Minior Sweeps Breakout, or just Minior in general. It's a cool mod. Um, I'm going to toy around with the team to make it a little bit more viable. Generally, when I'm making these uh, teams, I make them kind of gimmicky, and then I'll probably, I go back afterwards and, you know, tweak them to where they're viable, and they pretty much work out pretty nicely so uh, again thank you guys so much for watching i uh, hope you guys uh, will leave a like and subscribe if you did y'all have a great day